if you are from Philly, you will have heard this next man all over morning radio. He's been on the John DeBella Show and the WIP Morning Show in Philly. Please welcome Bob Marsdale. Oh, thank you very much. That's so nice. I, I'm, oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. I'd say I was sitting by the TV today. I was watching Swamp People, Duck Dynasty, and here comes Honey Boo Boo. So my self-esteem is right through the freaking roof right now. Thank you so much for that wonderful applause. It makes you feel good. It's, you know, sitting back and watching these people, like, having all the little things in life, like teeth. It's lovely. <laughs> this, is, this is reality television, ladies and gentlemen. I need subtitles to understand what the hell they're talking about now, these poor kids today. Like, I grew up in the 70s. Where's the old ass people? Where's the old ass people? I grew up in the 70s. We had the Adams Family and the Munsters, right? They were perfectly normal. They went home to their families, had makeup. They were actors. I mean, except for Eddie. He was a little freaked up. That was a strange dude right there. I saw him at a card show. He looks exactly the same today as he did when he was 11 years old. It's absolutely frightening. My uh, daughter has me watching that show, The Long Island Medium. Any fans of The Long Island Medium uh, show? Say that's, that's a bullshit show. I just want to tell you that right now. <laughs> Completely contrived. She walks in the room. Everybody's about 85 years old. I'm feeling that somebody may have lost somebody very close to them recently here. <laughs> Does your house have a front door? Bullshit. That's bullshit. I'm telling you. I don't even I don't even like funerals. I hate wakes. I'm Irish Catholic. We do wakes for three goddamn nights. Three free nights, people. Not because we're upset and we're bereaved. It's because there's an open bar. That's why we're there. <laughs> By the end of the night, no one's even paying attention to the dead guy. They're playing beer pong off the freaking cast and shit. <laughs> Young kids taking pictures of selfies with the deceased. It's horrible. I, I know, it's terrible. It's horrible. I hate it, man. I don't know, man. I just, I hate funerals in general. I just, I hate the wakes. I, I, I get completely freaked out by the body. Like, I can't even, like, you know, kneel by the casket. I'm actually just counting off the appropriate time so my family doesn't talk about me. It's like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. It is my favorite uncle, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. And if you look real close, I'm only kneeling on one knee because when that head pops up, I have an exit plan. So I'm sick of these goddamn politicians, you guys. So I think they should all be fired. I'm tired of the politicians, I'm telling you. Tired of them all. And I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican. I think there's all, one thing that we can all agree on, that Joe Biden is a crazy man. That's what I think right there. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, Charlie Sheen, and Gary Busey are watching this guy on the TV saying, I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. They make a lot of BS laws, don't they? Like, we can't think for ourselves. Like, I understand I shouldn't text and drive. I shouldn't be on my cell phone. My kid needs to be in the car seat. Now you have to have kids in booster seats that are five feet tall. I saw a kid in the back of the minivan the other day. He had facial hair. <laughs> Smoking weed, I'm telling you. I mean, I grew up in the 70s. If they would've saw half the shit my mother did today, they would lock her ass up. There was no expiration dates on me. They had this sniff test. You know that rainbow on the back of the refrigerator with the rainbow on it? She would feed us that shit. I'll tell you, man, I'll tell you. I'm distracted driving. My father, here's a man that could drive for miles with his head comp turned completely around. You're, Did I tell you kids to knock that off? Do I have to come back there? I'm coming back there. And we thought he could because the car could drive itself. We were scared to death. Kids are spoiled today, aren't they? We sick of these kids, I'm tired of them. They're spoiled, every last one of them. They have everything. They have the DVDs in the car, the GPS, the cup holders. My poor father had to drive 800 miles to Niagara Falls with his beer between his legs. <laughs> Reading a map and smoking a cigar. That's what it was like in the 70s. And they used to lock us in the back of this 1969 Rambler station wagon solid steel all around, not a seatbelt within five foot of my brother and I. And my mother's up there smoking too. She's got those Virginia Slim cigarettes so like a five-year-old kid look like a freaking hypodermic needle. You know, I'm like freaked out in the back of this thing. Like, you know, and I'm, we're just, we're in the back of this car pleading for our lives. We're in like this blue haze gasping for air. <laughs> mommy, mommy, could you please crack the window? All right. Uh... I'll crack the window. But if I start getting a chill, it's going right back up. You know how the cold air affects my breathing. Uh, 
Very sensitive woman, my mother. With the laws, talking about the bullshit laws now. Even like, even something as simple as crossing the street now. You got to yield to pedestrians. I mean, you go to the supermarket, don't they? They just walk right the hell out in front of you. Nobody looks anymore. Nobody's cognizant of the car. Like, and I'm not going to hit you, but for God's sake, could you move your ass just a little bit? That's all I'm asking. My, you know, it's like when I was growing up, crossing the street was an art form. It's like a rite of passage. It was like first Holy Communion, you ride the two-wheeler, then you cross the street. My mother would throw us on the other side of the boulevard, like, come on, Bobby, you can make it! <laughs> Dodging buses and shit, it was fucking, fucking horrible. Fire. <laughs> Times have completely changed from the 70s, haven't they, ladies and gentlemen? Honestly, if you saw a guy riding his bike, all right, at 6.30 in the morning in 1974, you'd be like, that guy's a health nut. Today, that guy's got a DUI. <laughs> So we mentioned I'm from Philadelphia. I'm a big Phillies fan. Any Philly fans down here today? I love the Phillies, man. Favorite player, Carlos Ruiz. You guys love the Carlos? Chooch, Cho Cho exactly. I took my first wife to her first Phillies game last year. She's sitting in the audience. Cooch, cooch. I'm like, sweetheart, the man's name is Chooch. That friend of yours I haven't seen in about a month? That's a cooch. Married people. My wife actually has me on a chip system for sex. I get three chips a month, that's it. So I have this decision to make. Do I space my chips out evenly during the course of the month, or do I go for it all in one big romantic weekend? I'm like one of these guys down here in a poker town. I'm like, frig it, I'm all in. <laughs> and don't come back a couple days later. I don't know, she's got a memory like an elephant. Oh no, we did it once on Friday and twice on Saturday. That's it. See you on Labor Day. <laughs> so, uh... I just want a quick story here. I actually, I just got a vasectomy. I'm the court eunuch from Medford, New Jersey. Thank you very much, court eunuch. Quick story, I'll get out of here. I go, I go in to meet this doctor. He's 85 years old if he's a day. I'm like, holy shit. I might as well log on to WebMD and give it a shot myself with a grapefruit knife. <laughs> Screwed. And I walk in, the coolest thing about this guy, he had a voice like a 40s radio announcer. He's like, you do realize that this is permanent? I'm like, really? I can't come back next month and do this all over again? <laughs> How many children do you currently have? I have four children. Four children? Well, I think you've procreated enough. So now I get my final instructions for the day of the operation. So we're to have myself, how should we say, delicately, manscape for the good doctor. Ladies, give it up for yourselves because this shit took me over an hour. A lot of nooks and crannies down there. It was like trying to shave a Thomas's English muffin. I swear to God, it was horrible. So apparently I didn't do such a hot job because I walk in the day of the operation, he takes one look at me, he's like, hmm, looks like we have a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> now picture this, my good man, I'm laying there, right? I've got this table napkin around me with a hole cut in it and my semi-plucked Cornish game hen sticking out, right? Look at me, I'm talking to you, focus over here. Focus. You want to touch it? Seriously, it's okay. It's a thumb. Relax. So you think I'd be concerned about this 85-year-old man down there with a razor blade? Oh, no. All I could think about was, please, dear God, don't get an erection. So I start hitting it with the erection antimatter. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Hey, I'm Bob Morrison. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you.